Rivers and the landscapes they drain provide us with many vital resources that we all depend on. They give us the water that we drink, the food that we eat and the spaces that we work and play in. The way we manage our land can have a direct impact on the quality of water in our rivers. If this water is polluted, it can affect the ecology of the river here, but it can also have knock-on effects downstream where people depend on this water for drinking and for recreation. We've come downstream to a water treatment works to find out how pollution in our rivers can impact on the day-to-day -day processes used to make clean, fresh drinking water. The biggest challenge here at the Water Treatment Works is to deal with the varying quality of the river waters that come to site. When the water comes in and uh, it, it's very coloured and turbid, it's much more expensive to treat. So we have to use a lot more coagulant and lime to uh, clarify the water. This produces a, a, a sludge, like a slurry, that we have to treat separately to the rest of the treatment process. Very expensive process. So we're faced with two options. One is to go on ever increasing the amount of treatment required at the waterworks to make clean, fresh drinking water. The second is to come upstream and try and fix the problems here at Source. By working with environmental scientists and using the latest data analysis techniques, the West Country Rivers Trust can identify where the polluted water in our rivers could be coming from higher up in the catchment. Having located these risky areas, we can then go and look for the sources of pollution and fix them by helping the farmer to improve his management of the land or by blocking the pathways along which polluted water is travelling. The approach for the West Country Rivers Trust is to work with the farmer um, to uh, sort out any problems within the farmyard um, and to improve land management, particularly the crops and the cattle handling. The biggest problem is lack of storage for slurry and manures, followed by overstocking uh, and keeping animals out when it's wet, uh, and then wrong crops in the wrong place with the wrong management. What West Country Rivers Trust have um, managed to um, help me with is we've covered in quite a lot of feeding yards and some cattle gathering areas um, and the cattle are just so much happier. We've got ventilated sheeting on quite a bit of it which obviously lets the air through but you haven't got all the rainwater falling down making a slurry. Something as simple as a fence along a river can reduce the amount of bacteria getting into water downstream by over 90% while helping farmers to maintain the condition of their soil can reduce the loss of nutrients from their farms by over 50% each year. But we were eroding along the streams where the cattle were drinking. We've got quite a big stream down the bottom end um, and, and we fenced both sides of that and um, there were some fallen in bridges which were dilapidated and we've, we've reinstated those with decent pipes. Um, and it's all fenced up and secure and a um, lot better for it. The latest scientific research has now shown that solutions like this, when delivered in the right places, can significantly reduce the amount of pollution making its way into our rivers. Once we have delivered these solutions on a farm, we can then assess the beneficial effects they've had on the water in the river and ultimately on the cost of the tap water that we drink. Not only that, these solutions don't just give us improvements in drinking water, they also give us a cleaner, healthier river to be enjoyed by both people and wildlife long into the future. By investing in this type of upstream thinking, we can improve the way we manage our land and get more food, more water and more wildlife out of our precious river catchments. <laughs>